Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. The truth absolutely 100% sets you free. But free of what? What exactly are you being freed of? Well, it doesn't take long when you get the blessing of seeking the truth in this very deceived world to find out just exactly what it is that you will be freed of in coming to the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the truth and the life and nobody gets to the Father but through him. So why is it that so many Christians, so many believers in Christ still side with the darkness of this world? What is it about Christians today that they become angered and frustrated when they are approached with the very fact that scripture is 100% correct in that this world is greatly deceived. Why do they argue? Why do they become arrogant? Why do they become so, so insulting when Christians that have been brought to the light and can see that of which hides in the dark bring these truths to their attention. What is it about these believers that they feel a deep desire to hold on to that of which hides in the dark? You are blessed if you know this truth. If you have been brought to the truths of this world and that you have now seen through eyes to see and ears to hear that of which hides in the darkness, you are blessed. Rejoice in that blessing. I am telling you, rejoice in that blessing. Expect to be insulted. Expect to be argued against. Expect to be mocked. Expect that those of which whom hold on to that of which hides in the darkness would be offended that you would bring to them the light that exposes the evils of this world. You are blessed if you know the truth. When you seek the truth in a world deceived, the Lord blesses you. He gives you eyes to see. He gives you ears to hear. You can walk in to a dark room as a light and you can easily see that of which hides in the darkness. That is a blessing. But with all blessings, comes responsibility to the gift of a blessing given directly from the kingdom of God. You have to be responsible for this truth. You have to be responsible for the way that you deliver it and you have to be responsible for the way that it affects you personally. Don't get angry. Don't be depressed. Don't let the evils of this world continuously affect you in that they still have a hold on you even though in your spirit you desire not to be a part of it. Your anger is still a hand reached out into the darkness of this world in that it would still have a hold on you. You are blessed if you know the truth. You are blessed if God has given you eyes to see and make no mistake about it, your reward is not here in the darkness, in the depths of this deceived world. Your reward is in heaven. Your reward is in the kingdom of God. This world is greatly deceived. And there is absolutely a plethora of reasons to hate this world. 
and you will come across Christians that will argue in favor of this world, that will argue on behalf of the deceptions of this world because their ego cannot allow them to see the truth. Their arrogance is like the liquidity to water when it comes to these deceptions. Their arrogance holds them to the ways of this world. They love this world. They love, 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 love this world. Because they don't know the depths of the deceptions of this world. That's why when God poured truth into this world, he knew there were only a few that would be blessed. He knew that there was only a few that loved him enough to receive these truths. Because you really have to love God to accept the persecution, the ridicule, the insult, the mocking, and the hate that is going to come from those of the world when you tell them exactly what it is that they love in that this world is literally a satanic ritual. It is designed by deception and those of which whom love this world are held to it in a trap by their own egos and that they can't see past the deceptions. But if you have been gifted with the blessing from God to see this world for what it truly is, if you can see the deceptions and you have the courage to speak these deceptions to ears that do not want to hear and eyes that are too blinded by their own arrogance in and of this world that they can't see the truth, accept the ridicule, accept the mocking, accept the hate, accept the persecution. Because that comes with being blessed with these truths. That comes with being given the knowledge directly from the kingdom of God. You will be hated. If you come to these truths and you give the glory to God, if you come to these truths and you lean on Jesus Christ and profess him as the truth and the life, if you profess Jesus Christ as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, if you profess Jesus Christ as the Savior, you will be mocked, you will be ridiculed, you will be insulted, you will be argued against, and you will be persecuted. And although the persecutions today seem light, make no mistake about it, the persecutions of the true Christians coming in the very near future are going to be unimaginable. And thank God you have been blessed with the truth today that you would be prepared for the truth of tomorrow. I ask that God sincerely bless you guys. I ask that God continue to open your eyes and open your ears and you come to know the truth of this world. And I ask that God continue to strengthen your heart through Jesus Christ, that you would have his courage to fulfill your purpose in telling the truth to a world that loves deception. I ask that God bless you guys thoroughly and abundantly. You guys take care of yourselves. It's when you're talking to the, to the principalities and reminding the powers and telling them who you are and what's going to happen. That's when you get an attitude. We have access to God with boldness and confidence. We can go boldly to the throne of God. We can go confidently to him. But what does the devil do? He keeps bringing up your past. He keeps bringing up your failures. He keeps bringing up your shortcomings. I'm not going to God on the basis of my righteousness. Not my righteousness. I'm going on the basis of his righteousness and who he is.